Ready. All right, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages randomizer, everybody. I played the Seasons randomizer a while back, but I it left a sour taste in my mouth because I had to do a task trick for one of them. Hopefully there are no task tricks that are needed for this, so without further ado, let's start. Uh, new game, no need for secrets. There we go! Uh, I like fast message speed. Gotta go fast. Yeah, this could be interesting, because Ages... There are a bunch of items that if you get early in Ages will very much break the game, like the mermaid suit. Oh, wow. <laughs> My OBS is not able to record what's actually happening on the emulator. It's supposed to have Link spinning and the blue fin at the same time, but it's kind of doing an evil or or. <laughs> Except our quest, hero. Well, if you're, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, then okay. We also skipped the tutorial, which is nice. Man, I love that overworld music. We get Moosh's food, okay! It's a Moosh seed! Your flute's song fell flat. Moosh, you're supposed to come to my rescue. Well, Moosh is gonna be our only method of attacking. Alright, what did the Harp of Ages turn into? It's the shovel! <laughs> cool! We're getting some items early on. I like that. Beautiful. That's fine. I like Moosh. I know a lot of people do not like Moosh, but I do like Moosh. I also like the shovel. But without a sword early on, it that's gonna be tricky. Come on, Moosh. Come to my rescue. There you are. <laughs> Come, my pet bear. We fly. Very true. What do we got in the shop? A heart container and a shield. Can't afford either of them. And scent seeds as our main tree. Okay. Not great, but could be worse. Let's just real quickly go through Meku Road. A nice and gentle <laughs> first, if that even counts as a dungeon. Oh no, the Meku tree's not here anymore. <laughs> Marty, we must go back to the past! Hey, Galadivor, welcome. Yeah, Moosh. He is the bear with tiny weens. This is, the Oracle games are very interesting. Oh, Apparently it doesn't think I'm playing on a Game Boy Advance, so the Advance shop is closed. Well, that's not much fun. So, yeah, I don't remember this game as much as some of the other Oracle games, so... Bear with me. Darn Gasha Seeds! Oh. That's right, apparently any Gasha Seeds or pieces of heart that aren't in chests are not randomized. And also there are no items randomized behind Gasha Seeds or Maple Drops, which is good. I don't like adding randomness into my randomizer. Hey, dude, I want to work. I have a shovel. I can help. All of the Game Boy Zelda games were really good. Well, okay. I don't like Link's Awakening that much. But I know I'm in the minority there. What are you going to give me? Oh, that's great. The Zora Flippers. Man, we're getting... I keep playing the flute accidentally. Moosh doesn't exist in the past, so that's going to be tough. Flippers don't open as much in Ages as I think it, they do in Seasons, but that's still a great item to have early on. Alright, we can't go that way without Power Bracelet. 
power bracelet's so it's gonna lock us out of a bunch of stuff, I think. Are there any... I don't think there are any just freestanding chests, although... We do have flippers now. We can't swim in the ocean, though. Flippers don't work in the ocean, I guess. That's true, I either need to use A to mash through the text boxes, or... Oh, it's Ralph, everyone's favorite NPC. Later, Ralph. It's not a bad idea. Also, I am one of those lunatics who sets sword to the A button in these games. See ya, Grandma. Okay, I don't think Rafton has anything for us. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't get the raft for free. We do still need the shovel rope and the map, the island chart. Lovely. Ages is one of those games where I think it seems like a lot of stuff is locked early on, so you, you kind of need to get some key items really quickly to go anywhere. Actually, I'm not... I guess we could go for Meku Root. Actually, no, we can't. We can't even save the Meku Tree, because we don't have anything to kill enemies. Oh, well. We got the flippers in the past, so we can go back to the present. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't forget about the Rolling Ridge quest items. I don't... I can't remember what's down here. Nothing's down there. Rafton's house gets demolished in the present. I guess I could keep shovel. With the shovel, we can get rupees fairly easily just by shoveling everywhere. But I'm not sure how much good that would do us. Do we need the power bracelet to get out of the town this way? No, we don't! Yes, we do. Never mind. That's true! I forgot, almost forgot about that, but you are correct. Ricky's gloves are buried in the sand. Or something is buried in the sand. Actually, no, because the freaking... Man, Power Bracelet locks a lot in this game. I forgot. Sword also locks a lot. Maybe we'll dig up a hundred bucks. No, it seems to me like we're kind of trapped. Okay, the, hang on, hang on. There must there must be something that I'm missing. Hey, Beta, I'm doing fantastic. I hope you were doing well as well. Wait, how could... Oh my god, wait. Moosh, I need you. I'm like, how did I get into the town if I didn't have a sword? And the answer, we have Moosh. I'm like, there can't be just... It can't be like a one-way tunnel. Yes, here we go. Oh, that's true. There is, there is the heart piece in the Meku Road. Also, because we have Moosh, we technically don't even need the shovel. 
because we can do that. Oh my gosh! Mermaid suit this early? Well, that opens up a lot of stuff. Where is the mermaid suit? Oh, it's right there. Okay, we're swimming to Crescent Island then. There's also the underwater caves that I probably don't know all of them. <laughs> hey, Karsten, welcome. <laughs> Zelda, who's that? She's not in this game. Hey, Dimitri. Oh my gosh, wait, we're going to level 3 immediately. No, we're not! We're going to Spirit's Grave immediately, because I randomized the dungeons. <laughs> I forgot about that stupid Mushi's flute. Okay, no, you know what? I'm sick of accidentally playing the flute. Um... Okay. Actually, no, we're not going to this dungeon this early, because we have no weapons. Thankfully, the Tokis don't steal your items this time around, but with only a shovel, I question how much of Crescent Island we'll actually be able to explore. Okay, so there's the maze under the island. This definitely leads to a check somewhere. No, the shovel cannot be used as a blunt weapon. Like it could in real life. Look at all of these portals to Subrosia. Why can't we go in any of them? Oh my gosh. Mermaid suit is very annoying to work with. We get the Goron vase! Wonderful. Um, there it is. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no! I hate the Whirlpool sucking hitbox. It sucks! So that leads nowhere. I think there's just the one cave under here, but... Again, don't know this game nearly as well as Seasons. And especially not as well as Majora or Ocarina. <laughs> Can't do anything over there. I don't think we can actually land anywhere else on Crescent Island, can we? Nope. Sorry, Dimitri. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Although, there's still a bunch of other stuff we can explore with the mermaid suit. Let's try to get some health back first, though. Oh no! Not a snakey. Go home, little snakey. I love their goofy smiles, but I am not in the mood to be fighting snakes right now. Oh, that's right. Actually, not sure how far we can even go here without the Tune of Ages, so... No, never mind. I think we gotta go back to the past and get the Fina Maker Road. And we can use our mermaid suit to go to Crescent Island in the past. Which at least should have a couple of checks for us.
Moosh, do not spawn in in a place that I can't ride you from. And that's exactly what he did. How did Moosh even get up there? Moosh is great. He gives me early attack options and early uh, jump options. It's a good thing that Dimitri's not my pet. <laughs> hey, Mako Road. We've s we meet again. Oh, yeah, that's right. Superstar Saga. I only ever played a little bit of that. I couldn't get into it. it. Like, it was one of those games where I'm like, I could tell it was kind of trying to be Paper Mario, but it wasn't really succeeding. I feel like it lacked some of the charm that Paper Mario had, but maybe I'm just being picky. Make a road. Are we able to get the fane in here if we don't have a sword? <laughs> Link normally has a horse. Not in this game. In this game, <laughs> he rides a bear. Yeah. So we can't actually get the fane inside of Make a Road in the past. Sword locks you out of so much. I've heard Paper Jam and Dream Team were not great. Hello, Toki. All right, gotta gotta watch out for them and those enemies. Do, 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 do. Okay, we do not have a lot of stuff to work with. Oh, that's right. He doesn't give us a free check. There's just nothing to get from him. It sounds great. Okay. I need rocks fever to get what the Yeah, I'm gonna need rocks fever to get through this. <laughs> hey Sonic, welcome! Welcome to pain. Is that all we can do in Crescent Island? No, no, this is not all we can do in Crescent Island. We can always swim around. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no! It's heavy. We can't even push pots. We are so weak. I like- I like the music in these games. Yeah, it's like the Game Boy Color chip, but... What you gonna- what you expect? Okay, please tell me we can, like, swim around. I also can't remember if it's just in a Link game that there's the Pegasus Seed Cave. I don't have Scent Seeds. Duh. Stupid flute.
Ages is one of those games, there's not a whole lot you can grab right at, from the get-go. Lovely. That's what I'm learning from this randomizer. There's very little you can grab early on in this game. You need key items for so much. Hey, bro. 50 rupees? Con artist. Um... Where else can we go? Is there an underwater cave somewhere that I missed? <laughs> Giant whirlpool. Oh, that's right, the Sea of No Return. Well, we can't go for there yet. That's right. If we can go through, if we can get behind that coral, I think that leads to a secret cave. Yes. And I think the Toki here should have something. Oh my gosh, yes, he has he has my favorite item in Zelda history. Gimme. You get the switch hook! Literally my favorite Zelda item ever. It's so fun to use. Well, that is progress. This also means we can finally kill enemy. Well, some enemies. Some enemies will be killed by the switch hook, others will not. Do 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 do. Notice I didn't say the best item, I said my favorite item. Oh no, we need the lone switch for that. Darn. I forget, does this work on rocks? It doesn't. Rats. <laughs> we can do that, though. Go. That's one of the features you can add in. Quick warp back to the main tree near uh, Lina City. Oh, hello, Hunter and Liam! A hearty hello to you both. We're just going swimming. No whirlpools, not today. I guess we can go through Meku Road in the past now. I think. Because I'm pretty sure the switch hook can kill the tiny red bots. I hope so, otherwise we're going through Meku Road for no reason again. Cool, then that's what we're doing. <laughs> you never know if something good might be there. Also, can we get 
a sword? Or like the Harp of Ages would also even also help? Actually, pretty much any item would help. True. Hey, one... There are not a lot of checks in this game, so... One check is actually pretty good. Okay, we can also kill the bats. Yeah, this game is fun. It's ba it basic the Oracle games basically took what was good about Link's Awakening and, and then kind of polished it a bit better. At least that that's what I think. I personally like seasons more, but the seasons randomizer until they patch out the task trick that's sometimes needed, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't remember this staircase being here. Has this staircase always been here? I guess we can buy a shield now. Because I swear that has not always been there. Oh wait, I knew this I knew this had to be a piece of heart because freestanding pieces of heart don't get randomized. Okay, I literally never knew about that check then. That's kind of funny. All right. Well, No, we can't go to Rolling Ridge in the past, because we can't jump. I guess we can go to the present, buy a shield, and then head on over to... I'm not sure how much we can actually do in Rolling Ridge, though, because I think the Goron Elder is just going to be blocking us. Or actually, no, it's the present, so he's already dead. Never mind. Hey, Bobblehead McGee, I'd like a shield, please. Thank you. Why can't Link jump? Um, I don't have Rock's Fever. <laughs> Link doesn't have the ability to move his... <laughs> to push his feet down on the ground without a feather in his hand. Ah, uh, duh. Oh, shoot! We can't even go to Rolling Ridge, because... The switch hook blocks are only there in the past. Great. Hmm. Well, shoot. I thought the switch hook would open up more. I guess I don't think anything's different on Crescent. I don't think we can do anything else on Crescent Island as an adult, but I guess now that we have the switch hook and have pushed the vines, we can try. <laughs> Currents only, the management. I don't get it. Is it saying only tune of currents? Um, this the Oracle games only, I think, have cheap, cheap enemies. Link's Awakening had Goombas and Piranha Plants and a Chain Chomp. And the Yoshi doll. Switch Hook, I don't think, can kill the big red bot, so we're not going back to the Spirit's Grave. It's Softlock Prevention. Okay. I appreciate it. 
This soft earth is great for planting seeds. Great. Wait, Switchhook does kill the big boy bots? Well, then I guess that's where we're going next. We are right here, after all. I'm glad this was not Jabu Jabu's belly to begin with. Although, actually, that may not have been a bad vein, because Switch Hook can be used for most veins in that dungeon. Oh, it can! Take that. I like the Spirit's Grave. It's a good first dungeon. Oh my gosh, that is really good! And it has Ember Seeds! Oh, yes! The Earth is saved! Oh, that's fantastic. Wait, no it doesn't! No, it does not have Ember Seeds! It has Scent Seeds in it. Okay, that's that's not so good. Scent Seeds kind of suck if you don't have the Seed Shooter. Oh, sweet. The pose can die to the switch hook as well. He doesn't even get affected by the scent seeds. I got a Goron aid! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm so happy I get Goron aid. The Power Rain level 1. Not great if I don't have the sword. Gotta admit. I f wait, am I just stuck? Oh wait, no! We can go to the left at the start. We don't have the Power Bracelet, but we have the Switch Hook, so we can get rid of the freaking b pots in our way. Oh, this is cool! I've never gone through the Spirit's Grave backwards before. Okay, that's actually really cool. I love this. <laughs> Sweet, we got the boss key. Okay, we do need Ember Seeds to get for that. And regrettably, without the sword, no chance to beat Pumpkinhead. That's okay, maybe there's another key item in this dungeon. Oh boy, mini-boss time. I don't think I can hurt him, but we'll see. Oh no, we can. We can. It's just gonna be hard to. Alright, big, big Poe. Oh, never mind. He was easy. Sweet! Um. 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 That's normal. <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Guess key doors don't work both ways? Um, okay. At least saving and quitting sends us back to the start of the dungeon. I hope I use the key in the right door. I don't- I think they wouldn't let you softlock yourself like that, but... Well, I mean, we have the Seed Satchel now, so what can we do with it? What can we do with just Scent Seeds that we couldn't do before? Not much. Not to mention we can't even grab any more of the, uh... Hmm. 
Oh my gosh, I hate these freaking rocks. Why does Power Bracelet lock us out of everything? Why? Okay, that's the cave I think I'm thinking of. But it's behind all of the whirlpools. Okay... I am not sure what to do now... Is there anything in the mayor's house? There is! Here we go! Uh. Darn it! You need the long hook! You can swim around the rock to the left. I think you need the Tune of Ages for that. But I mean, we can see. Or, oh wait, oh we can just do, never mind, I'm dumb. Yeah, this is it. Can we use Mushin here? We can! Hey, Moosh! 30 bucks? Take that. How did I not remember that? <laughs> oh, I think you can actually enter the Wind Dungeon from the present as well. That does happen. Oh wait, no, never mind. Ancient cave, beware! Crumbles easily. There's gotta be more stuff here than that! Did I do all that just for a chest of 30 bucks in it? Possibly. I guess that makes sense. See a moosh. Whoosh. But we can't... There's nowhere to swim. From... Hmm. Wait a second. Can we just enter Ambi's palace right from the get-go? We might be able to just enter Ambi's palace right from the get-go. Yes, we can- okay, I'm not sure if there are any checks there or not, but there's at least a tree. Although we can't- you, we can't knock the seeds off the tree with what we have. Oh, help and bother. I don't think anything is randomized in the arcade, either. Oh, that's it! Okay, yep. Ambi's palace is just like, I don't- I don't need guards. Guards are overrated. There are the Ember Seeds that I can't get. <laughs> Not a lot of junk locations in these, uh, in the Oracle randomizers. Talk on it. You had to turn right there, didn't you? 
You can't come in without permission. Let's not leave a guard behind. These guards are not very good at their job. And I am glad of it. <laughs> I am stealth. Thank goodness that they have really bad eyesight. They're like, hey, who's pushing all these buttons? The Ambi statues were perfectly placed so that nobody could get... Wow, that guy was literally two squares from me and he didn't see me. Ambi really should invest in some <laughs> vision care for her guards. She's just got an ocean underneath her palace. Because of course she does. Staircase! Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there is a chest here somewhere. Why is the music getting weird? So the main entrance, I think it just says, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I thought there was a chest in one of those. Well, I don't normally use stealth inside the palace, but I... how could you have seen me? I think they actually have good eyesight in here. Finally! <laughs> At last! There we go. It's good to have your sword. Now, I'm not sure if there's another check in here, but I'm gonna check. <laughs> Ambi, why does your palace have a fairy fountain in it? Oh, you know. I think that's the only chest in the palace, but I don't remember exactly. Okay, no, that is the only, that's the only chest in the palace. I think Ambi's palace counts as a dungeon, so we can't do the tree warp from here. Oh, wait, shoot, no, dug on it. I should have gotten the ember seeds. Because now we can knock the ember seeds off the tree. I won't. Oh, that's right. This is not seasons. You do not swing your sword to open the gate. No Nairi fight till we get the mystery seeds and the seed shooter. Actually, maybe you can just drop a mystery seed on her. I've always used the seed shooter, though. I'll be so glad when we can travel through time more easily. Ember seeds will be very, very good, though. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. <laughs> Shovel. It is- sh Seed Shooter's not technically required, good to know. Keep moving, ya bats.
Here, make a tree. I'm coming to save you. Bro, I've got I've got a sword now. Wow, you were so cool. Oh, it was nothing, lady. Oh, also, now that we have the sword, might as well equip the power rain level one. Gives us a little bit of extra oomph. Although it also makes us take a little bit of extra damage. That's fine. Oh, dog, dog, I was gonna get the freaking ember seeds! Give me something great. I did not promise you, creepy weirdo. Maybe she'll just give me ember seeds. Oh boy! It's the shovel rope. I mean, I don't have any use for the shovel rope at this point because I have the mermaid suit, but whatever. If I only had a power bracelet. Okay, Ember Seeds. Thank you, Queen Amy. You shouldn't have. Why, well, yes, I will help myself. Yay, at last. Interesting how the tree warp also sends you back to the current time period. I actually like that. <laughs> it's time to burn. We get the Zora scale. Cool. Now we can go into the Sea of No Return. We can also head to the graveyard now. That's not the way to the graveyard. This is the way to the graveyard. I don't have the Ages map memorized all that well. Moosh, I need you. <laughs> Just have to click my heels three times and say there's no place like home. Oh my gosh, it's the seed shooter. Oh, that's amazing. What's up here? Oh, we're gonna need... Oh, doggone it, that's hidden behind the freaking power bracelet. Okay. Tune of Echoes is in here. Hidden behind the power bracelet. I'll remember that. Yes, seed shooter! Pick your seeds, then fire. Yeah, I like I like it. <laughs> I also like uh, in seasons using the seasons to solve puzzles. It's a little dark in here. Hey, I actually am happy to see that. <laughs> Always happy to get another heart container. I don't think this leads anywhere. Nope. <laughs> I like how we get the happy overworld music even when we're in this creepy graveyard. Also, when are we randomizing the freestanding stuff as well? That's what I'd like to know. And, yep, yeah, okay. Can't go any further without the graveyard key. There is a spooky skeleton living right inside me. 
And I'm grateful to it. <laughs> it lets me move and do all sorts of stuff. Spooky, scary skeletons, they shiver down your spine. What's with the rock? Alright, well, we can finish up Spirit's Grave now. Actually, I think we can. I don't think we need Power Bracelet as long as we've got the Switch Hook. But I guess I don't know for sure. Dimitri's like, are you ever going to talk to me? No, I don't need your help. <laughs> I can swim on my own. Oh yeah, Power Rain level 1 just lets us kill those instantly. Oh, that's true! We will need it for the freaking boss, won't we? I hope this is a small key or we're in trouble! I'm in trouble. <laughs> hmm. Hope I didn't screw up putting the key in the wrong place. Maybe if I kill all the enemies in a different room, something good will happen. Oh, that's right, hang on. There's the part where I need to light the torches in order to get a prize. That's right, forgot about this one up here. Bruh, you better give me a small key. Good. <laughs> That would have been bad if we did not get a small key here. Let's see if we can avoid the game over as well. Much puzzles, such wow. Wow, the lawn hook already? I'm sorry, the lawn switch. I guess that opens up two more checks. That's pretty nice. I love getting an improved version of my favorite item. <laughs> Come on, make the cycle. 50 bucks! Sweet! I can almost afford the Everheart container. I don't think this leads anywhere, but you never know. Yep, so there's the small key. We can use that to get through the mini-boss room as a shortcut, I guess. It has been fascinating playing this uh, <laughs> dungeon backwards. Oh, that's right. We can't beat the boss without the power. I'm gonna just check. I'm pretty sure... I've never tried to use the switch hook against him, so... 
Okay, nope. Never should have doubted Nintendo Addict. He knows what he's talking about. I should have believed you. But sometimes you just gotta see it for yourself. Oh, we can actually... One thing we actually can do... Now that we got the Seed Shooter, we can go up to the Carpenter area. And we have Moosh as well, so we can actually talk to all the Carpenters. I think we will do that. Trying to preserve my Ember Seeds, because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get more. I won't forget the chest in the Mayor's house. Oh, hey, Maple. You know, Maple, I could actually go for some Ember Seed drops here. No, my Ember Seed. How dare you. <laughs> Thanks, Maple! <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the generous donation! <laughs> Oh, that's true, I could have gotten that at the wall switch. Whoops. Why, why does your ammo buddy always pop up on a screen that you can't reach them from? Like, pretty much always. It's super annoying. Yes, I will find your buddies for you. Do, 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 do. Like, there's gotta be something in the code where it's like, oh, if you call your animal buddy and there's a way that they can move on screen that you can't reach them from, make it do, make it happen there. I I remember that from playing just the game normally. Because there have been several times where I've been like, Hey, why can't- why aren't the carpenters going with me? It's because I didn't accept the quest first. Ow! What the butts? Oh my gosh, we finally got it. No, you don't! No, you don't! Stupid tectites. Or, actually, no, these are weavers. <gasps> no! Foul play. Well, we're not getting the no game overs, I suppose. Hey, why is he not coming back with me? Is it because Moosh is here? Is it because I died? Why is he not coming back? Wait, dying actually resets the quest? Really? That is very, very stupid. That doesn't even make sense. So stupid! Why would they do that? Why would they code the game that way? And we have to talk to him. What? They would literally have to specifically code that into it. Why would you do that? Why would they reset that flag when you die? It doesn't make any sense. You would have to specify reset this flag for no reason.
Well, at least I got my big buddy, <laughs> Moosh the Bear. At least I have my best buddy, Scooby-Doo. I feel like the levers are slower now that I don't have the Power Rain equi equipped, which is very dumb. Like, when I had the Power Rain equipped, they just kept spawning underneath me, because they're like, ha we can deal extra damage. Now, no problems. What the heck. I think this just has the love, love, the seed guy. Oh no, it's a fairy fountain. Yeah, I'll take the extra heart. Why not? Oh yeah, we just warp over here, thank goodness. Work, you idiots. We're done, boss. <laughs> Yes, boss. Yeah, get out of here. Why do they have blue mouths? It's a little strange. Hi, Symmetry Village. Mystery Seeds, oh boy! The worst seed type in the game. Although, I guess we can now defeat Nehru. Not sure if I want to defeat Nehru yet, but we can. Power Bracelet just opened up a bunch of stuff, which is fantastic. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let's go back to the past. Okay, hang on. Before we go back to the past, though... I'm gonna grind up for rupees so I can buy that heart container. There we go. That's what we want. Oh, also, tune of... Gotta get the tune of, uh... Echoes. I'm getting the Tune of Echoes. Come here, Moosh! Didn't even need to stop. Oh, I just realized I have not been checking off how many chests I've gotten in the dungeons. Whoops. Yay, Tune of Echoes! Rats, were underground. We can't war we can't save warp out! Hard hat beetles. There we go. Alright, we are making progress. This is good. We actually have a bunch of the key items now. Or at the very least, the items that are important for using in your inventory. But we're still missing a lot of the special items for, like, for example, the keys to the dungeons. Okay, hang on. Mayor's house. Mayor's house first. Then we can go back to Toki Island. Or Crescent Island. Oh 
wait, that's not the mayor's house. Is the mayor in the present? Mayor's house is in the present, doggone it. Also, I didn't even read what the ring we just got was. Red holy ring. No damage from small rocks. That's very situational, but I'll take it over the power ring. Darn it. I guess that makes sense. We have a queen in the past and a mayor in the present. But the mayor was red, and the past is red. I got confu- I got confused! Oh boy, a Gasha Seed. I'm so happy. I'm just exuding joy. Okay, I'm not sure if there's a good... I'm not sure what the, where the nearest time portal is, so I might just... I might just take the regular time portal, honestly. It's probably the quickest one. <laughs> that would actually not surprise me. Artie and World War II go hand in hand. Wait, what? Now back to Christmas Island. I can't wait till I get Gale Seeds, by the way. Oh, that'll be the day. Here we go. The quicksand rain. That is also very situational. Rats, we need the bomb bag. Wait, is it useless in ages? Actually did not know that. It's kind of useful in seasons when you're facing Manhandela. Actually, I think we can explore most of the island now, because we have the Tune of Echoes. Thank goodness Link didn't need to take harp lessons or anything. That would have been bad. Here we go. on it, fairy fountains. Get out of my way, for goodness sakes. Wait a second. How the heck am I... 
Oh, I missed the main time portal, I think. I'll plant the gaseous seed here, and then we'll promptly forget about it. Yeah, this is a good plan. Oh, you're, that's true. Yeah, you know what? We may as well kill the spirit grave boss before we forget about it. Even though I already forgot about it. <laughs> Dimitri's like, I'm just dying over here, hello. Well, that's too bad, Dimitri. Suck it up. And we actually will equip the Power Rain for that. Bye! Wow. <laughs> the dungeon map was what he was hiding. Fantastic. We get the Eternal Spirit, an essence of blah blah blah. We have cleared the Spirit's Grave completely. Let's see, I, I wanted to see if we can enter the Sea of No Return now. We do have the Zora Scale, after all. I also can't remember if we enter here in the past or the present. One of those fiends that just slips my mind. Okay, it seems like it's one of those fiends we do in the past. Why is that cave... <laughs> Why is that cave entrance blocked by the rock that you literally can't get past? <laughs> Ahoy! Well, we can go to the Deku Forest now, so let's head back to the past yet again. I, I'm so glad that these time portals are just forever open. And that nobody else is using them. Alright, Dooku Forest time. Because we can finally lift that super annoying rock out of the way. Actually, I'm going to unequip the power rain now. because I am quite liable to take a lot of damage if I have it equipped. Although I do like having it equipped for the boss fights. But for enemies who I kill in one hit regardless, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, nothing? I thought there was at least something down this path. But no, it's just like... No, you can see that there's something here, but you can't actually grab it. What's the point of this? What is the point of that? Will Ambi still give me something if when I get the Mystery Seed Tree here? I don't think so, but she could. May as well get the piece of heart down here. 
Why not? <laughs> Andy? No. <laughs> this is not Toy Story. Yes! Gale Seeds! Yes! Give me those Gale Seeds. I need them. Oh boy, the mermaid key. Is that the red? Yes, it is. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I've got bugs in my tummy. Rats, that's the wrong way. Deku Scrubs do not sell random stuff. That would be an interesting change, but alas. Man, the bats are being generous with the heart drops. They're normally kind of stingy. That's not nice. Liam started the adventure of Link. Uh, good luck to Liam. That game is... <laughs> pretty brutal. If he beats it, he'll have my utmost respect. Because <laughs> it took me ages to beat that game, and when I was like 18. <laughs> he told you you just need to be... We'll see if he's still saying that by the end. Link's a... Adventure Link, don't mess around. Man, I forgot how many checks there are down here in the Deku Forest Caves. Do 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 do. Thirty bucks. I don't really need money. Well, actually, once I get access to the secret shop, I might need money. Depending on what they're selling. Looks like Ambie's not gonna give me bombs. <laughs> oh, is that how it is? Oh shoot, I can't enter dungeon two. Because I don't have bombs. And Genghis Khan isn't going to let me in. Real nice, Genghis Khan. Very polite of you. <laughs> I don't think so. Not today, Maple. Hmm. Okay. Well, then. I guess we could... Tr well, no, I don't know how much we can do on the restoration wall, actually. Before I go back to the future yet again... Let's try to get into the Sea of No Return. See how far we can go. Yep, that's what I was thinking. It's also the cave in the Sea of No Return. I just can't remember how much of the stuff in the ocean you need the Tune of Ages for. Hello, Mr. Zora. The Zora Scale, yes! He's like, I know I've never heard of you before, but you have a Zora Scale. You must be f nice.
All right, some big money, big money. Graveyard key. There we go. We can access level one now. And it might be Jabu Jabu's belly. Hey, pirates. Sail in the seas is every man's dream, but we're stuck in the sea of storms. <laughs> yeah, I'll give I'll give you the scale. Don't worry, bro. Oh, <gasps> thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, this is amazing. The only key items we're missing are the cane of Samaria and bombs, and then after that, it's just quest items. Oh, and I guess the power gloves as well. All right, well, that definitely opens... Oh, and the harp upgrades. Forgot it. Never mind. Okay, yeah, so the rest of this we need the Tune of Ages for. Oh, that's right. Good call. Did not mark Gale on my tracker. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, this also means, guys, I know where we're going next. You know where we're going next? Marty, we're going back to the future! Specifically, so we can pop one Tingle's balloon. Tingle is a man who deserves to have his balloon popped. <laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta pop Tingle's balloon. Hey, Tingle. A bloop. <laughs> sure, I'll have Tingle as a friend if you give me something. We get the lava juice! <laughs> it's been ages since you... Yep. It's kind of been a long time since I've... Last time I played this game, I'm pretty sure was my cursed playthrough. Which was... Uh, the first Let's Play of my second year of Let's Playing, so... That was a while back. Okay, now that we've popped Tingle's Balloon, now we can go over to level 1. Don't forget his second check. Well, I need every type of seed before that. Until I get Pegasus Seeds, I won't be able to actually get that one. Do 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 Oh, do you only need four types? I thought you needed all five. I'll go back, but and check. It's not too far of a walk, so... In the meantime, folks, take bets. What will the first dungeon turn into? Dungeons 2 through 8 are the options. I think it'll be Jabu Jabu's belly. Yep, level 7. Oh, sure enough! You are correct! You only need four seed types. The Whispering! What the heck is that one again? Quick... That's useless. Whispering, no effect from Jinxes. Hey, you know what? Much like Mighty Number no. 9, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I'm also guessing level 7. Hope not, because I absolutely hate level 7. 
But it seems like the type of thing that it would be. Hooray! Move it, crows. Hey, potato! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! We're just about to see what Dungeon 1 turned it into. That's true! Oh, look! How did we know? Oh, yuck. At least I have the long hook going in. So who knows? Maybe it won't be so bad. Going in with the Mullen Hook already definitely is going to make this dungeon a lot faster. Oh shoot, but I don't have the freaking Cane of Samaria. For those of you who don't know, this dungeon is basically Ocarina of Time's Water Temple, but worse. Because it's 2D and even more confusing. Here we go. Yeah, this level is annoying. Link, uh, Link has a mermaid suit, so he just puts it on every time he touches water. Oh, goody! to the room to the right. It's so dumb how you can't use the Vaughn hook in shallow water, but you can in deep water. But only when you're swimming on... It's, it's so dumb! It doesn't even make sense. I can't believe we're doing Jabu Jabu's Billy this early. And the music does not make things better. This means the Jabu Jabu's gonna have a temple inside of him. The actual Jabu Jabu is going to have a temple inside of him. Normally I don't put sword on the B button, but for this dungeon, you actually kind of need to. When will the boss come? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, one of these doors. Yes, this is the one. 50, 50 bucks? <laughs> I forget how many chests I've already grabbed in this dungeon, so... Uh... Oh, wait. 
Huh? Oh, I have to fall down from above. I'm like... But that doesn't even make sense. So I think I've only opened two of the five. So I've definitely opened at least two. Can't remember the exact amount after that, but... Boy, this dungeon's a lot harder to beat when you, uh, don't know you can swim over the bottomless pits when you're underwater. Hip potato. Also a dungeon I don't know that well, so I'm gonna be wandering around aimlessly a bit. Well, that's just not nice. Oh man, thank goodness the sword is so big in this game. So that's the boss key chest right there. Oop. fill it up all the way yet? <laughs> I don't know if I do, but... This is a dungeon that having Furore's Wind from Ocarina would be very helpful. Why does Jabu Jabu have, like, actual mechanical parts inside of him? Okay, you say I should. You you act like I have a lot of control over my backyard baseball team. I really don't. I'll do season five eventually, but not this year. Oh, dog! Wait, hang on, hang on. It's supposed to fill it up all the way. <laughs> hey, Marty, <laughs> you're just in time to see worst dungeon. Worst dungeon outside of, um, the Linked Heroes Cave, that is. Oh, am I supp- Never mind, so you need to access both of those rooms to fill it up all the way. Blah. Then in that case, <laughs> I want there to be no water level left. None. Zero. This, yeah, this, this dungeon's just not very fun, man. Hey, a heart container. Okay, so that's another chest gone. Ages is definitely the tougher of the two games. Jury's still out on if it's harder than Link's Awakening, though. No, we can't do anything with that pot. We cannot. Uh, maybe. It's harder than Link's... I don't... I don't know about that. Link's Awakening had some really tough parts.
There's no way Seasons is harder than Link's Awakening. Eagle Tower alone proves that's not true. How can I focus on so many fiends on one screen? Uh... Experience, I guess? Okay, that's not where I wanted to go. Link's Awakening is just a bit more clunky, and I think the puzzles are a little more... I don't want to say unfair, but maybe unorthodox. Things like throwing pots at locked doors. It's very strange. Okay, that really... I mean... The world map sizes are the same in all the games. I guess Season and Zen Ages both have their second world, so yeah, they would be a bit bigger. Same amount of dungeons, though. Oh no, I would say Eagle Tower is one of the toughest Zelda dungeons, like, ever. And part of the reason it was so tough is because 90% of it, you can explore right from the beginning. So for like an hour and a half to two hours, I was in that dungeon. I was just wandering around aimlessly and I had absolutely no clue where to go. Why would anyone want to throw a pot at a door? You're so mad the door is locked that you throw a pot at it. And then the door is like, oh, my mistake. I didn't mean to upset you. And then unlocks itself. And that's canon. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jabu Jabu is also awful. back here, Moldorms. Get back here. Also, I think if, since we're playing Oracle of Ages, I don't think the Red Rain is in this. Alright, just one more chest in here. And it's the boss key chest. I hope it's a small key that's locking itself out. That would be the ideal scenario. <laughs> Donna Tony. <laughs> hey, cheap, cheap. Alright, fine. Kill it, kill it, wow! He has a lot more HP than I remember. Jeez, I almost died to that guy. Oof. Fair enough, wait a second. Okay, hang on, something's not right. It said there were only, like, four chests on the map tracker, but it's clearly not the case. Hmm. 
Maybe it's saying there are four fiends in treasure chests that are not keys or maps or comp- I don't know. Guess there's not much point in keeping track of that anymore, though. Maybe. Oh, no. Blech. Stupid skull and crossbones. Out of my sight. Alright, at least we can fill the water level up all the way now. Still can't get everything, but... At least now we can fight the boss. I've always wondered if, you, if it was possible to get to the boss room with the water level all the way down. That would be an interesting experience. Because the boss really wouldn't make sense if he's not underwater. Here we go, all the way up. Maybe the maybe the boss key chest will have a compass in it. All right, what you got in here? A small key, wonderful. Those guys are really annoying if you don't have a boomerang. They're great if you do have a boomerang, but... Yeah, yeah. The items in this game are pretty great. Alright, boss time. Hey, Plasmarine. This boss is very dumb. Just wait for him to shoot something and then swap places. And that's why, like, the hardest dungeon in the game has, like, the easiest boss in the game. Okay, you moved a lot faster than I thought you would. Oh yeah, We got the toss rain. <laughs> We are getting some weird rains this time around. Yay, we get the Rolling Sea, an essence of time, mysticals, blah 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 blah, who cares. Oh boy! Maybe there are more checks we could get in there, but there's also plenty of checks we can get outside of the dungeon, so... <laughs> the majority of the rains in this... Uh, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Okay, that's not randomized. Gale Seed! <laughs> Symmetry Village. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Have no idea what that means, but thanks for joining in, Potato. Yes, I'll listen to your problem with the Toonie Nut.
Oh, that's true. Kinzor does need a potion. This is why I'm saving my money. So I can't remember which home the husband lives in. Oh, yes, Sonic, you are correct. You have to play for each game twice if you want to get all the reins. It's very dumb. Also, some... Some of the reins are really difficult to get. A 100% playthrough of the Oracle games is very difficult. We get the cr oh, brother. The crown key. I hate the crown dungeon, but at least it's not as bad as Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Ambi's palace is right on the other side of this wall. Okay, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Your tune did nothing, because you played it on accident. <laughs> yeah. Do I need a bottle to hold the potion? No, I do not. Potions come with their own bottles. Alright, well, let's see if we can visit Mr. McBro in his house. Man, the Dark Nuts are not nice. I love how this guy's house, you literally have to swim through, like, an underwater tunnel in order to reach. Like, and I thought I was a bit of a hermit. This guy takes it to another level. He's my hero. Look at that, this is the only way to get into his house. I have to talk to him before playing the song in order to inspire him? Really? <laughs> That's the tune of Echoes! Oh, uh, what ring did I get? The toss ring throwing distance up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Oh, the like like ring. <laughs> there are some bizarre rings in this. You want to turn Link into a like like who can't attack? Well, now you can. But then there are a small handful of rings that are like, this is really good. Looking at you, red rain. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure without the tune of currents, we aren't going to be able to do a whole lot here. But you never know. I'm pretty sure this kind of just leads to a uh, heart piece, but like I said, it's been a while. I don't know for sure. Wow, that is completely useless. That is com actually completely useless. Oh, you missed a chest in Jabu Jabu that had the Tune of Currents in it. I hope not. How many rings are there? I think like 128 or something. Or maybe it's like 64. It's a lot. Yeah, I don't think anybody really likes Like Likes, which is ironic, I know. Alright, there should be a flippin' warp point over here. Here we go! Now we can actually explore the island here. 64 rings. Okay, I doubled the amount. <laughs> Oh, that's right, that's the Toki who wants the stinky bag. For I don't know why, but... 
It's like, man, I really want a bag filled with poop. Can you give it to me? Please? I'm only somewhat exaggerating as well. Thank thanks for telling me that. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you that you need <laughs> you need to wait a long time for vines to grow. It's like I, that's how you introduce yourself to people. Yes. Oh no! Without the sapling seed, we actually don't grow the freaking trees. I have a stuffy nose. Can I smell a bag of poop? Seems like logic to me. Doggone it! Do we really have to go back to Jabu Jabu's belly? I really don't want to go back to Jabu Jabu's belly. I'm not even sure if we can. I thought we had already gotten all the stuff there. <sighs> but, like, we can't do anything at the Restoration Wall. We can't do anything else on Crescent Island. I guess I'll go back and see if I missed something in Jabu, but I didn't think I did. Oh, wait! No, I know what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna save Nehru. Because we do get a check for saving Nehru. Oh, actually, no, wait. I have an even better idea. Along the way... You don't need Pegasus Seeds to save Nehru. Also forgot about Rolling Ridge here. Now, again, I think we can't do anything here. Yeah. I don't have a bomb flower, but I I don't have bombs either, but I do have Goron aid. I guess that could work. Oh, that's right, it's the old Zora. Forgot about him. Do, 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 do. Okay, well now we save Nehru. See ya, dude. I'm gonna be a hero. And I just realized we could have just Gale seated there. I forgot there was a tree in Ambi's garden. We literally could have just used Gale seeds. Oh well. At least we get a refill on our embers. Are the guards out of the way now? That would be nice if they were, but no, they're not. Gotta take the shortcut again. <laughs> Zelda goes from a fantasy game to a sci-fi game. I think we got Metroid for that. Yeah, well, I, why I ain't doing task tricks no more. Been there, seen it, done it. Hey, Nehru. I'm sorry, Varan. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
And I think it's just free hits to kill her, no matter what your power is. Oh, too easy. See you, Varan. <laughs> Ambi, get out of here! <laughs> she would... <laughs> yeah, she literally just teleported once and immediately attacked. That was great. I think it was because I kept keeping my distance to her. If you get too close to her too soon, she generally tends to just warp away. Oh, Ralph, what are you... <laughs> I always forget you're even in the game. Alright, neighbor, give me something good. Bomb flower! Hey! We can save the elder now. Dane! <laughs> Neighbor's like, I really appreciate you saving me. Here, take this weapon of mass destruction. Yes, thank you, thank you! <laughs> well, sweet, now we can save the Goron Elder. And hope we get Pegasus Seeds. Of course I want the Big Boom. You know I love explosives. I can sense you have a bomb flower! <laughs> oh, he can smell it. Here, you can have my nuke. Hope you don't destroy- hope you don't blow up the Elder! <laughs> Goron Elder's like, oh, explosion! That was easy. Give me something great! 30 bucks! You know what? <laughs> he just told me that his life is worth 30 bucks. I have never gone this long in any Zelda randomizer without getting bombs. Oh, also, hang on. Somewhere... I forget exactly where. Somewhere in Rolling Ridge, there is a completely normal-looking wall that you can blow up with a chest behind. Now, granted, I don't have bombs, so I can't even do anything with that, but... It's like one of the best hidden chests in the whole game. All right, we got a tree. Okay, missed no Pegasus seeds yet. I'm so glad they are growing the worst possible seed on them. Just love it. Now, how much of this can we even do without bombs, though? Because most of this, I think, is hidden behind either Tune of Currents or Needing Bombs. Alright, there. Actually, wait, there might not be a portal here. Because they might assume that you have Tune of Currents by the time you get over here. No! I don't have Tune of Currents! Oh no, I, th I think they assume you have Tune of Currents when you get here, because you're supposed to have Tune of Currents. Did this not actually do anything? Great. Awesome. So, we might have to go back to freaking Jibu. I don't want to go back to Jabu Jabu's Deli. <laughs> Sometimes, we do things that we'd rather not, but we must. The sword hitting the wall does have different sounds, if it if you can blow it up, yeah. That's an indestructible wall sound, and then the, a destructible one will be like, dang, 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 dang. It'll be like a deeper noise. Can't I swim over to the eastern side of the mountains in the past? 
I don't think so. I'll try it. Nintendo Addict has not let me down yet, so I will I will trust you. I will try it. I thought that the ancient ruins or the ancient tomb cut it off, but maybe not. Anything to avoid going back to Jabu Jabu. Also, why is Ricky here on the mat on the tracker? I have Moosh. Wait, are you? Wow, I never knew this. Yeah, you're you're completely correct. Okay, did not know that. I suppose the smart thing would be just to go straight to the mermaid cave, but Hey, I got the tuny nut. That'll help. True, I can't open the mermaid cave in the past. But I want to see if there's stuff we can do in Rolling Ridge first. Probably not a lot with the, uh... Without the bomb bag. the switch hook doesn't break the saplings, but it breaks, like, literally anything else that it switches with. Twenty bucks? I wanted a peanut! Okay, um, yeah, we can't get through that without Pegasus Seeds. The hard hat beetles are not much fun in any Zelda game. Aha! And that's why I wanted to go over here first. Come to Papa Pegasus Seeds! Yes, we have every type of seed now. Alright, we'll explore what we can of the Mermaid's Cave. <laughs> After going through here. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh wow! He actually gives you hints to where they are if the stuff is. That's great. Sure, let's try Goron Dance. Oh, whoops, I got the A and B buttons mixed up. Whoops! <laughs> There we go. It's not too bad. Snowshoe rain. 
That actually will be very nice in a very small amount of situations. Mainly in the Ancient Tomb. It's a lot better in Seasons, though. That's kind of what I'm noticing. Most of these rings are a lot better in Seasons. Okay, if memories... Okay, this tree has an old man underneath it. I can never remember if it's the old man in the future who takes your money or in the past. I think in the past he gives you money. Yeah, that's right. In the past he gives you money, but in the future he gets really grumpy and takes your money. So don't visit him in the future. Sonny, I was just giving you that on loan. I wasn't, like, giving it to you for real. I think, I think level 6 always has to be the Mermaid's Cave. Because of the time travel gimmick to it. Man, if one, if the Mermaid's Cave had, like, different entrances depending on... Oh. It's like, you have to swim into Jabu Jabu's belly to get to the future Mermaid's Cave. But the Wing Dungeon is the present Mermaid, is the past Mermaid's Cave. Weird how these guys are just invincible when the four colors are a different tile? I don't get that. Hey, the Book of Seals! Cool. So that's one of the chests. Honestly, though, we might get locked out of most of the Mermaid's Cave. Oh, I forgot about the Candle Enemies. The Candle Enemies are so weird. And they're only in Ages. They're not in Seasons at all. And for some reason, they deal one heart of damage if they touch you. Let me tell you what, that's, a, that's really annoying when you're doing a Cursed playthrough. Oh, guys! It's like the one room in the game where scent seeds are actually good. Dungeon map! Enjoy your lunch. Actually, that might be literally all we can do. In the mermaid's cave. I think the rest is hidden behind either a key or bombs. How have we not found our bombs yet? Well, that kind of sucks. I need my harp upgrade! Well, actually, okay, hang on. All's not lost. We do have that one part we can Pegasus Seeds through. Actually, this might just lead back to the Goron blocking the door, though. Maybe it leads to a chest as well? No, it literally just leads back to the Goron, who doesn't want to move out of my way. Cool! Wish we had a time portal around here. I think... I think we might have to go back to freaking Jabu. I can't think of any other places that we could check. Because pretty- Oh wait, no, 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 no. 
We're not going back there. We have the Toonie Nut. Which means we can fix Symmetry Village. And this means we get access to Dungeon 4. Oh, wait, hang on. But the Toonie Nut might be... Wait, is the Toonie Nut broken? I hope the Toonie Nut's not broken. So we still we only got the broken Toonie Nut, we still need to fix it? I still have to take it to patch. I thought I thought it was already fixed. Darn it, I got real excited. I can't wait for Dungeon 4. Skull Dungeon is maybe my favorite Zelda dungeon ever. Aegis has such a mix of like, I absolutely hate this dungeon and I absolutely love this dungeon. Like, I feel like a third of the dungeons in this I really, really like, a third of the dungeons I really, really hate, and then a third I'm just like, they're fine. Jabu, Jabu's Deli. Alright. Hey! <laughs> How much hero? Welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just <laughs> we have to track back to worst dungeon yet again. I cannot for the life of me figure out where the Harp of Ages upgrades are. Could be here. 50 bucks. I don't want 50 bucks. I want my tune of currents. <laughs> Actually, wait, at this point, I guess I don't know for sure exactly how many more checks there are in here, but at least one of them is a small key, and at least one of them is the compass. So unless there are three or more, I think that might be a bit bad. my hairbrush. Oh, I love swimming over pits. Actually, no, I think... I think that... We've gotten all the checks in here at this point. I think there are only two checks left, and one of them is the... Actually, they both might be on the way to the... Well, no, hang on. One of them is the one that we need the Cane of Samaria for. I'll go up to the top floor and see how much stuff we can do now, but I'm pretty sure we can't get any other of the other checks. And I'm pretty sure there's only one more check. Or, there are only... There are only two more checks, and one of them has to have a small key, and one of them has to have the compass. But I got a jerk. Yeah. I really, I really like. 
like the Oracle games. They're very fun. Okay, no, there is a chest up there. Okay, I was wondering about that. Which means there are two keys we need after this, and the compass, so... Okay, yeah, so we have everything in this dungeon. I, I know a lot about Oracle of Ages 2, the problem is it's been so long since I last played it that I forget a lot of it. Where are two not? We only have two warp points here, wow. Can we really not... Can we really not get... to freaking Rolling Ridge in the present? I guess not. Oh, yeah. Oof. Wait, hang on. When you say my cursed Let's Play, are you talking my cursed Let's Play of Ages or Seasons? Because I think my my Ages Cursed Let's Play was actually pretty decent. My Seasons, oof, don't watch that. Do not watch that. It's unwatchable. It's so bad. I mean, it was my first Let's Play, so obviously it's going to be bad. But that was back when I still used the microphone that I had to have, like, in my mouth that sounded like a washing machine on Mars. Oof. Do not watch my first... <laughs> I think I've said it before, pretty much anything I made before my Harvest Moon 64 Let's Play is probably not worth watching. Except maybe the Humongous Entertainment ones. I think it was bad. <laughs> I can't... If, well, I mean, I don't really like watching my videos anyways, but... It's very hard to go back to my first couple Let's Plays, which is like... <laughs> It's like an underwater McDonald's drive through speaker. You're Dimitri. Oh wow, you're not as fast as I am. <laughs> when we're swimming. Then why do we even want you? Where do we go next? I wish there was a hint system in this. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Where the heck do we go next? I'm kind of at a loss. Did I miss a chest somewhere? That's the thing. I could have. There could be just a chest somewhere that I completely have forgotten about or don't know about. And that does worry me a bit. I don't think there's anything at the Black Tower in the present. Oh, I can't even enter it anyways. I do have a spoiler log, yeah. I don't like using that, though. Maybe there's something in the Fairy Woods that I missed, because I couldn't use, like, the power bracelet or something. I don't really remember. Okay, no, that didn't have anything under it. <sighs> I'll just... <laughs> a word of advice to anyone who's like, maybe I'll try Let's Play, and your first Let's Play is not going to be good. Like, I don't know a single Let's Player who looks back on their first Let's Play and is like, I'm happy with that. They all look back and cringe, so... <laughs> don't worry about it. It's all part of the learning experience. Alright. <laughs> Where do we go? Okay, you know what? Maybe I will take a little peek at the spoiler log. 
Because I'm true. I truly don't know where else we get. What else we can do? This is the problem with playing a game I don't know as well. All right. Okay, hang on, hang on. So I'm glad I peeked at the spoiler log, because there is something that I missed in the Deku Forest that I didn't know about. So normal in the normal playthrough, this is this is something that I couldn't have known about because this is something they genuinely just put in for the randomizer. So normally in the for vanilla game, you go to the Deku Forest. You get the mystery seeds, then you pop out the soldier approaches you and is like, Hey! Ambi's been looking for those mystery seeds! And then he takes you to the palace. You give them to Ambi, and Ambi gives you bombs in exchange for them, which, okay, that's weird. Ambi literally gives us weapons of mass destruction in exchange for some seeds, but yeah, that happens. That doesn't happen in the randomizer. So what happens to that set of bombs that you normally get? Well, apparently there is a soldier in the Deku Forest that, if you talk to him and only in the randomizer, he will give you basically what the bombs normally are. But he doesn't give it to you on his own, you have to go out of your way to talk to him. I didn't know that, so... That does not have what we're looking for, but I think it will give us what we need in order to get what we're looking for, if that makes sense. Why are there all these frozen bunnies here? Yeah, these bombs have tremendous power. Bombs generally do. I don't know where the soldier is, but he's around somewhere. Hey, clown. Okay, there's supposed to be a soldier around here. Is he up here and I don't know about it? Oh, I think it's this guy. Those are the mystery seeds! Here we go, now we get the letter of introduction. Which means we can go and do the Goron dance yet again. Everybody's favorite. Hey, dude. That's an introduction? <laughs> Alright, bro. I don't know what you're gonna give me here, but I'm hoping it's not, like, 20 bucks. Good job. This might be easier than the Subversion Dance to me. Certainly easier than the Goron Race. There we go. What are you giving me? 
Yes! Tune of Currents at last! Well, that's gonna open up a lot of stuff. Right away. <laughs> right away that's opening up a lot of stuff. I think that just opened up two dungeons all by itself. Oh, that's right, I need the rock sirloin, I think. Wait, no, I thought I, I thought I could move past... Oh, wait, no, no, I need the symbol of the Brotherhood in order to get past him. Forgot about that. So I don't have the present mermaid key, so I can't do the fu the present mermaid cave. Okay, do not go into that guy's house. He is a grumpy old man now. All right. Okay. I think we can make it across this. Yep. Yep. It's very precise, but you can get across that. And here we are. Time poor little if we want it, but I don't want it yet. Get out of here, get out of here. Yep, yep, yep. It's long hooking time. Wow, even the long hook won't reach. I see how it is. Bats. Oh, right. we can just go right to Dungeon 5 now, because we got the crown key. Yes! Moonlit Grotto! One of my favorites. I really love the Moonlit Grotto. For me, Skull Dungeon's best, then Moonlit Grotto, then the Ancient Tomb. Boop, boop. Oh no, we don't have bombs, though. Dog on it. No bombs is gonna definitely make this place a lot tougher. Actually, we might, we might not even be able to explore, like, any of this place if we don't have bombs. Actually, no. We literally can't explore any of this place without bombs. Darn it! That dungeon has the best music, though. Like, no question. Okay, as much as I would like to explore that part of Rolling Ridge, I think it might be better to continue exploring the eastern side. Where can I jump down a bunch of holes? I might not be able to. I might have to do the time travel here. I mean, if we get the Tune of Ages soon, that would also be really nice. Tune of Ages makes things a lot easier. <laughs> I don't have 20 bombs. I 
I'd rather do it myself. What's the point of this cave? Why would you even put this cave in here? Oh well. Okay, we're here on this side now. to go... Yeah. <laughs> it's weird how in Oracle of Seasons, if you walk into the Fairy Fountain, you can choose to leave without activating the Fairy. But in Oracle of Ages, it forces you to talk to the Fairy. No thanks, Maple. She could actually have a decent... ring for us. Grey Boblin just destroyed his own palace. Hey, bro. Who enters my keep? Blah. I'm King Moblin. It would be great if the Moblin King gave us bombs for beating him. He's like, you've earned my respect here. Take take these explosives. He's actually just a big fan of the Mythbusters. Bye-bye. <laughs> no! Hey, you stink! <laughs> Thank you! We get the peace ring. What the heck is the peace ring? I just want to know. Snowshoe ring, blah blah blah, like like ring. Peace ring, no explosion of holding bomb. <laughs> that is kind of fitting, actually. <laughs> Fireball dispensers. They always dispense a bunch in a row when you're trying to climb up. I think this can lead to a rain. We might need Cane of Samaria for it, though. Oh no, we need freaking bombs! I want bombs! Where are they? You can trust me with bombs. I'm an American citizen. I have I have right to bear bombs. Shield upgrade. I, that's not great, but I'll take it. Much rather have a sword upgrade or, you know, bombs. Tune of Ages. Blue ring. <laughs> Wait, how do we get out of here? We- oh, we don't have bombs. We can't get out of here. <laughs> oh, this might be where the invisible wall is. Never mind. Okay! We juicin' now. I want my bombs! 
I want them so bad! Give me the boom! Pyromania is when you've got an obsession with setting things on fire. What's the word if you've got an obsession with blowing things up? Bombs. Gash seed! I don't need this junk! <laughs> Oh, one thing I discovered, there's apparently Oracle of Seasons and Ages Randomizer Multi-World, where one person plays Seasons and one person plays Ages, and they send each other their items. It's fascinating. This staircase exists only to show you that there is something that can be hidden here. Actually... I don't remember this being cracked. This wall is cracked. It looks like it could be broken. <laughs> I feel like... I mean, you do need Bizhawk in order to... play the randomizers, but I feel like... emulating Oracle of Seasons and Ages would be a lot less technically demanding than emulating Ocarina of Time. Great Moblin's Palace is this way. Well, I don't really want to go to the Great Moblin's Palace. I'd rather go to Symmetry Village. <laughs> I would like to think that, yes. Well, at least we can climb Restoration Wall now. Please don't tell me the freaking fiends behind rocks over here. The freaking fiends behind rocks over there. You should have traveled through time at Symmetry Village! I think it's kind of dumb, to be honest, that the Toonie Nut's ju not just repaired when you get it. I think that should be a change that they should allow in. Just be like, when you get the Toonie Nut, you can immediately go to Dungeon 4. Who's talking Totinos? I'm not talking Totinos. Want to point a Gasha tree in that really hard to reach spot? <laughs> For no reason? <laughs> Why, yes, I would. <laughs> oh, that's right, you can get the bomb bag upgrade over there. That's great. Song? That's not the right song. Although, it would be nice if the uh, Tune of Currents also opened up the time portals. Oh shoot, you're right! I do need freaking bumps first! Arg! <laughs> Is this what it's like living in a country that's not America? It's just like, I want bombs, too bad. But my Second Amendment rights. Whoops, that's the wrong way to go through. You pushed the stone. This will change the course of the land forever. I've got 416 rupees! What do you want from me? <laughs> Who 
Whose dog is barking constantly? I just hear this dog going rrr, 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 in the background. And it's not my dog. I don't have a dog. Probably never will have a dog. Oh, whoops. That's not the sword. Do, 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 do. I feel like I don't. Yeah, out of all, out of like Link's Awakening, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, I think Oracle of Seasons has by far the best overall like world map. It flows the best. I feel like a lot of Ages' map is like, well, you got to keep traveling to and from through time in order to navigate the map properly. Whereas Seasons just seems like you can navigate it well. Normally. And Link's Awakening has... I don't know, man. There's a lot of that map that's just like, this feels very forced of like, oh. It feels like it is set up like an elaborate maze. Don't forget to check at the foot of the mountain, use the current's tune down there. Right here? Is there something here that I never knew about? I didn't realize that's where the Happy Mask Shop was. Oh! There is the chest there. Cool, I like another heart container. Because the Oracle games are difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why. Oop -doop -doop -doop. I do not like these screens. I haven't had any visit. Hey, Patch. Well, the nice vein, folks. We got the cane of Samaria. Hey! I said we have the cane. What do you mean the cane of Samaria doesn't work down here? I'm bogus. Whatever. Now we get the actual Toonie Nut. Hooray! I swear, I swear that's supposed to work. At least for when you're fixing the noble sword. I don't think there's anything up here, but I my OCD is like I gotta explore every square of the map. <laughs> I've got to. Okay, no, never mind. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> Alright, what will level 4 be? I'm thinking it'll be the Crown Dungeon. Which is level 5. It could be some... <laughs> it would be interesting if it was level 8, though. Yay! Level 2, Wind Dungeon is another viable option. Let's see. It... The mermaid cave is randomized! Oh no! Oh, that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. Okay, I was not expecting this. Yeah, this is definitely not good. Well, okay, no, 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 you know what? Both dungeon entrances are near 
seed trees. So we can use Gale Seeds to quickly get from one to the other. So it's actually not that bad. It would be a lot worse if one of the mermaid caves was, like, where the ancient tomb is. Why is that still set to my button? That would be awful. <laughs> like, level level 8 and level 5 would be, like, the two worst combinations. Or level 1, honestly. Spirit's Grave is not near a whole lot. Don't think we can do anything in this room without bomb? Nope. <laughs> Let's give a big hand for the wall masters. This might be. <laughs> Dungeon map, great. Okay, so nothing here either. Oh boy. So that f the freaking bombs and the Tune of Ages are locking us out of everything. Now here's a question. We got a small key in the present. If we take it back to the past, does that key carry over? I actually forget. You can get for the switch room without the, the seed shooter? Really? That's interesting. I'm gonna go back to the other mermaid's cave and see if we do have the small key there. Oh, I could have just walked into the portal we already had. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> this works too. I love how that glitch is still in it. Yay. Interesting. Nope, small keys don't work in the past. Okay. Lovely. Well, that's fine. We can still explore more of this part of Rolling Ridge. I'm still amazed we got the lawn switch so quickly. I'm, s I'm amazed no bombs too! I want my explosives. It's my bombs, and I want them now. Hey, bro. Welcome to Target Carts. I would love to try. What's the prize? Okay. I'll take it. You're 
Nice shooting! No, I don't want to try again. Is there anything in here? Nope, it's just this guy like, Hey, did you know this is a game about time travel? No, I didn't. Like, how his grandpa's shop is just completely out of reach of everybody. You literally need to travel through time in order to get here. Let's get started! I actually don't know if this is gonna be worth it doing anything, but whatever. <laughs> Whoops, just hit him in the face. It happens, dude. Threaded the needle. That was almost real bad. Come on, put some fairies up at top. No. Oh well. There we go. Those are the easiest ones to hit. Probably should have aimed for the fairy, but oh well. I get the double-edged ring. What the heck is that? Half of these rings I don't think I've ever gotten before. Double edge ring, sword damage up, but you get hurt. That sounds terrible! <laughs> Why would anyone equip that? Why? I don't understand. Maybe. <laughs> Still seems like a dumb reason. What's with all of these empty caves? Maybe eventually, but... I don't take requests, really. I play what I want to play. Oh, that's right, the big boom shop. I forgot about this one. And I actually have the gore I need to wake him up. Please give me bombs as a reward for your bomb game. Please. Please, 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 please. Oh, doggone it! He's just offering money! Also, how is this game allowed to remain open? He's like, here's the fun game. I put you on a floor made of quicksand, and then I throw a bunch of explosives at you. If you are on YouTube, you cannot use the sound alerts. They are a Twitch exclusive. If I could find a way to allow them to work on YouTube, believe me, I would. But no, they are literally tied to Twitch. I got 50 bucks. No, I don't want to play again. I just won your best prize. I'm not saying I'll never play Earthbound, but I have a long, long list of other games that I am planning on streaming, so... I'm not saying it'll never happen, I'm just saying I'm not going to play it just because you asked me to. Oh wait, this is not actually where I really want to be, but... Oh well. Oh, that's okay. We've got the magic of the Gale Seeds. Now I forget what happens if we play the Tune of Currents here. 
Actually, this might be one of those caves where it's linked mode exclusive. Oh wait, no, it's up here. We've been here, right? Yeah, this is... Yeah, I think that cave is actually, like, it does something, but only if you're doing a linked playthrough. Okay, this time we go down, down, down to the Ring of Fire. There might be a chest up there. Please, please, please. Yes, there is a chest up here. Doggone it, I don't want to gash a seed. He's like, why not? I can't think of a more useful gift to ever give somebody. Oh, doggone it. I keep a list of games on my Twitch About page, but I also have a lot of ones that I have mentally that I don't keep track of there. Basically, I play what I want to feel like. <laughs> that did not come out right. I play what I want to, or I play what I feel like. I just kind of combine those two. Okay, well, um, hmm... We are once again in a rough patch. Uh, where to next? Is there anywhere we can go now with the tune of current? I feel like... <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that there's like one place in Rolling Ridge that doesn't need bombs that I haven't checked yet. Without bombs, I can't do anything in Moonlit Grotto. Oh, wait! No, 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 I know where we're going. I know where we're going. We can access the secret shop now. There are free items there. They're all expensive, but probably one of them will be useful. <laughs> 300 rupees for bombs! <laughs> you con artist. Fine, I'll do it. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mark that we got the bomb flower a while back. <laughs> Whoops. We got the bomb flower a while back. You gotta play the tune of currents on this exact square. All right, secret shop. What do you got? Okay, we already have the rain box expansion. I Man, that's disappointing. I actually will buy the piece of heart for five hundred. But we already start with the level 5 ring box, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. I assume he's getting Twitch, so that way he can get arty bucks and redeem sound alerts. Am I missing something? Secret Shop might always be vanilla. That would be disappointing. The regular shop isn't. Ooh, wait, there might- hang on. The Sea of Storms, if we go to the present, might have something. I think most of this is off-limits until we get the Tune of Ages, but maybe not all of it.
Uh, I can't play any higher up than that, though. Curse you. I thought there was a secret island underwater in the present as well, but apparently we can't reach it. Might have to break out the spoiler log again. Because I just don't know where else there is. I could take another look at the uh, mermaid's cave in the present, but I'm pretty sure everything else is locked behind bombs. If only I could get to the library. I want to read. Oh, wait a second. It's been hinted at, but we can get to level 2 using the Tune of Currents. I almost forgot. But we don't need bombs. Off to the Deku Forest. Also, I can't remember if there's anything up here. But there actually might be. Oh yeah, there is something up here. It's just a piece of heart, though. Still, I'll grab it. Might as well. I also love how you can actually push the pots once you have the power bracelet, even if it's not directly equipped in your hand. That's very nice. Shine! Forgot my sword wasn't equipped. Hello, Dungeon 2! I hope it's Dungeon 4! Yes! Skull Dungeon, my favorite! Like, just, just my favorite Zelda dungeon. <laughs> it's just got the right balance of everything. Key number one. There we go. Man, thus far, we've predicted most of the dungeons correctly. 
outside of a uh, future mermaid's cave. <laughs> I kind of hope the Ancient Tomb stays vanilla. The dungeon's perfect for its setting. Oh, that's right. Okay, I don't like fire keys. Fire keys are very annoying enemies because they genuinely can hover out of your reach. Ouch! There we go. There are only two chests in with unique checks inside the skull. Really? I really hope one of those is bombs! And actually, we might need bombs to get through this. Because bombs are one of the more basic items in the game! Wow, first try. We get the Gasherine! Oh boy. <laughs> you want to grow Gasher seeds even faster? I don't think I need- well, now you can! Rats, we need that chest. Oh, that's true, you're right, that was one of the unique- Oh no! I think the other unique check is freaking hidden behind a- Well, maybe not. But the switch hook chest, I'm pretty sure, is hidden behind bombs, so... There's the other unique check! It's the fairy powder, which we can't do anything with. Cool. I really hope that the map or the compass is the thing that is hidden... In the, uh, whatchamacallit. I really hope the map or the compass is the thing that's hidden in, in the switch hook chest, because we can't get to the switch hook chests now. Well, this kind of leaves, puts us back at square one again, because we still need bombs to do pretty much anything else. Man, that lava hardens quickly. Oh, we gotta kill them all, huh? Gotta say, a magic potion would be nice to have. Just as safety. <laughs> would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not even dealing with this. <laughs> just don't- just get good. Hey, Potato! Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. There are some interesting puzzles here. Oh, bit, 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 bit. bit. I think this next room is the room where you basically need Gale Seeds to fire out. That's a fun room. No, it's not. 
No, I did not want to get back in that. What the heck? Oh, great, an OBS disconnected. Wonderful. That's exactly what I want to see. Oh, look, it literally just took me resetting the entire flippin' computer in order to reconnect. Great. At least the save state worked. I don't normally... Oh, and for some reason it remapped all my controls. I don't know why. That's very dumb, but all right. There we go. Wow, that was stupid. I really hate that. I'm not sure if it's OBS who's doing this because of the recent updates or if it's Restream doing this, but every so often it will just OBS will disconnect from Restream and you cannot possibly reconnect it unless you restart your whole computer. That's really incredibly stupid. Really, really extremely stupid. Um oh, uh okay. Apparent apparently the uh Apparently the dice is not there, but it still says that we opened up the light. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy, the bats are going to get in the way. The rest of the dungeon should be pretty vanilla. Hoping the boss key ain't hidden behind the- oh wait, nope, we don't want to go this way just yet. Rats. Open the gates! Okay, this is the room that you basically need Gale Seeds for. Good thing we did that first try. Would have been bad otherwise. You stupid pea hat. Thanks for the key. <laughs> Thanks for that hairbrush. Choo choo, I'm coming for you, you. say it's the moment of truth, because there could still... Actually, wait. Maybe we don't need bombs. Can we get the switch hook chest without needing bombs if we already have the switch hook? Ouch. Very rude! Actually, wait, we might be going... Actually, we're taking a mega detour right now. Oh, wait, this is a massive detour. This is not where I wanted to go. Oh, well. No hearts for me, Gibdo bros. Come on. 
Come on! Danger. 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 Well, it's a good thing we don't have the power rain equipped. I actually can't even remember which rain we do have equipped. Gale Seed, thank you. Thank you very much, Lee. Okay, these guys usually drop hearts, right? There we go. At least we stopped the infernal beeping. Oh, yes, these puzzles. These puzzles are kind of fun. Okay. I think I already screwed up, maybe? Oh, maybe not. No. <laughs> All part of the plan. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Boss key. That's good. Boss key was not hidden behind... The bomb chest, which is great. Actually, it was, we might... <laughs> we've skipped the mini-boss, which is pretty funny. Yeah, actually, no, we're totally able to skip the mini-boss for this. This is fantastic. Alright, now please give me, like, a fairy. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Jesus. Cool, then we can just clear out the dungeon. We don't even need to do, like, a, a decent amount of it. Hi, eyesore. Ouch. Bye, eyesore. <laughs> you got the compass! I know you always wanted it. Woohoo! We get the burning flame! I mean, we're still stuck, but... We still don't know where the freaking bombs are. And at this point, I'm a little too afraid to ask. I feel like this is just like a government conspiracy to remove all bombs from the land of Labrina. Doggone it. Why did that... Move! There's no reason for that to move from one time period to another. Alright. Do 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 do. I'm gonna double check the mermaid's cave to see if we missed anything there. Actually, wait, we may have missed a chest just hanging out on the restoration wall. I might have been a dummy and just... Well, there's a piece of heart, at least. Which will give us another heart container, so... I'm, I'm about that. I'm not sure if there's a treasure chest missing or not, but... We can at least 
try. Boo, 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 boo. Let's roll. Heck, I would even settle for bomb chews at this point. Wait, there's a huge part of the restoration wall we never explored on this part. That might be important. I don't remember- again, I don't remember the world map n that well, so... There's probably just a random chest somewhere that I've completely forgotten about. Stuck in the wall. Link can play the harp faster than some guy can throw a javelin. Or shoot an arrow or whatever. Thanks for the extra heart container. Actually, maybe that part of the restoration wall you can't explore until you get the Tune of Ages. Bleh. Okay, no. Mermaid's Cave, Mermaid's Cave. It's kind of weird how this place is, like, made of lava in the past, but then in the present it's made of water. Do they ever explain that? Do, 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 do. Okay, did I miss something in Mermaid's Cave? So that you need to blow up in the past. We can't do that without bombs. But we do have a key. Surely that can be useful for something, right? Come on, man! Bombable, bombable. This is the mermaid's cave, not... <laughs> not the bomb cave. No, I think... No, no, there's nothing else we can do in Mermaid's Cave. Cool. Alright, I think it's time to break out that spoiler again. Because I am, once again, completely lost. Where's the Razzle Frazzin' Bombs? Oh my gosh. Yep, there was a spot I forgot about. And there's a reason I never went there. So, we went to the Mermaid Cave entrance in the past, because that's where we had the key. As it turns out, I never went to the Mermaid's Cave entrance in the present, because I didn't have the key. Turns out, there's still a check at the entrance to the Mermaid's Cave in the present. Which I completely forgot about. And guess what's in the chest? Oh, look! It's my frippin' bombs! Now we can have a blast. Okay, well, the very first place I'm going to, I'm going right back to that moonlit grotto.
I wish there were more Gale Seed Trees and fewer Mystery Seed Trees. Nobody likes Mystery Seeds. Alright. We can at least clear the Moonlit Grotto, and then maybe we call it a stream. Well, technically speaking, we never explored this cave either. There might be a chest in this cave as well. No, there's not. Stupid bat! Bats are, like, consistently the most obnoxious enemy in every Zelda game. It's actually impressive. Alright, Moonlit Grotto. Now we can actually get somewhere. Moosh, come to my rescue! <laughs> booga, 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 booga! <laughs> How much of the game is left? I mean, we've cleared three out of eight dungeons, and there's the final dungeon. It really depends on how long it takes to find the remaining, like, dungeon entrances. Or the dungeon keys. We're probably... maybe a little bit more than the halfway point. Man, Moonlit Grotto has a good theme song. Oh, it didn't blow up. That's so sad. I was wondering if I could pull off something weird with the seed shooter, but just easier to do that. I no, no, I'm not running this game all night. Give me that key. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop after I clear the Moonlit Grotto. Because we got everything we need to beat it. I... thus far? I mean... I think the reason I've been struggling with this rando is just I don't remember all of the places. But it, it seems like this one's more fun than the Seasons or, uh, randomizer, which is surprising to me, because I like Seasons more than Ages. How many Gale Seeds do I have? Six. Okay. Actually, do they even... No, Gale Seeds don't work on these guys. Oh, no! Do I have to use bombs? Will spin attacks work? No, they won't. Oh, wait, I have the Toss Rain equipped. I don't want the Toss Rain. Thank you for giving me- thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, screw you. There we go. Heart container! I don't know if that counts as one of the special checks or not. do 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 That's true! I'm only missing two heart containers. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Oh, 
Uh, up here, I can't remember if the boss room is up here or not. I actually think it is. So we're gonna hold off for now. Seed Shooter's a fun item to use. If you want to give me more bombs that I can actually reach, that would be nice. Like, bombs in here? Yes, thank you. See, once you get your first set of bombs, now the government's like, okay, well, he already has them, so... I guess we'll just let him have them. Oh boy, that compass. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm just gonna full clear this dungeon, because I don't know if, like, the falling heart container counted as one of the randomized checks, or if it's only counting the treasure chests. Since there is the treasure chest icon next to it. was a sound like something being knocked loose. Randomizers definitely be fun. It probably was, but I don't know. Oh, the Toki eyeball. Okay, that definitely counts as one. Yeah, I'm going to count the heart container as another. No! You but! That's okay, I didn't need the shield anyways. I actually don't think there's really anything you need the shield for. Even the spiked enemies don't need the shield, technically. We have Gale Seeds and the Shovel, so... It's also a shame, because at least in Ocarina and Majora, you kill the like like you get your shield back. You think you can fool me. I see how you look slightly different than the rest of the grass. Don't you laugh at me. Another heart. Wow! All of the freaking heart containers are in the Moonlit Grotto. I've never felt more full of life. That's true, I probably could. Alright, <laughs> that's another one of the random checks. No, I do not have the echoing howl yet. I think that does it for the top floor now. Now we just have to explore the basement. And even then, we explored most of the basement. Hey, the turntable reset! It was supposed to go the opposite way.
Hey, power gloves! We're gonna need those for the tomb. Who are you calling a turkey? I ain't no turkey. We don't have the boss key yet, so I think that last chest probably has it. Ugh. As long as I'm underground, your attacks don't scare me. They should. Bye-bye. It's gonna be hard to skip the mini-boss. He's guarding an important check. There's that boss key. Yep, you have to beat the mini-boss in that case. Turntable is turning counterclockwise, I believe. Yes, it is. I like how in this dungeon you actually have to use, like, the mini boss warp in order to solve a puzzle. It's actually kind of cool. I also love how any musical instrument can insta-kill the pole's voices. Funny touch. Small key time. Dungeon map? Um... Oh, I guess there's a small key hidden inside itself. That's funny. There's a lock key ho uh, locked behind itself. actually kind of funny. Actually, no, wait, don't we have to... Wait, no, don't we have to? Yeah, wait, what the heck? How are we supposed to get through that? Pegasus Seed Jumps don't get us past a locked door. And I thought over here it was blocked by, well, blocks. Oh no, is this going to be another one of those Pegasus Seed task tricks? Okay, no, it's not. Alright, 
cool. Now, hopefully, can we get some seeds before the boss? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. All right, Shadow Hag. <laughs> Small key's gonna be here. Did I miss an important check? No, I must have forgotten to check one off. Haha! <laughs> I am your shadow. Sure. Okay, no, that no, that wasn't a task trick. That was a pretty doable Pegasus -y jump. No, the small key I literally just bypassed. We have the compass. Bye-bye. Use it to open the door you need to get to this part of the door. And there we go. You get the echoing howl, an essence of time. It echoes. Did you know that? Well, the bombs just opened up a whole lot of new stuff in Rolling Ridge, but I think I'm going to have to end the stream there. I'm getting a little bit tired, and I need to make dinner. I also need to apply to new jobs, and I also need to go grocery shopping. And we might be doing Mario Kart tonight. And that's a lot. So, yeah, we got to end it here. Thanks for joining in, everybody. This is definitely fun. If I can figure out what... Uh, new weekday stream series, then we'll be playing that starting Monday. Otherwise, there's a chance we could continue this on Monday. Just saying. I'll have to figure it out. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless, everyone.